The story of Saint Charbel Makhlouf, famous for performing more than 29,000 miracles and still counting. His body was found to be incorrupt, flexible and lifelike for many years after death when it was exhumed. His clothes were found soaked in liquid and blood, and the cloth divided into small pieces were distributed as relics. Several miracles were reported of healing of sickness through these relics. Though Saint Charbel Makhlouf never went far from his birthplace in the Lebanese village of Beka Kafra, his spiritual influence has touched lives across the globe. Early Life and Calling Joseph Zarun Makhlouf, later known as Charbel, was born into a humble family. When Joseph was just three years old, his father, a mule driver, passed away, leaving him in the care of his uncle. Despite this early loss, Joseph's path to spiritual greatness began to unfold. At the age of 23, Joseph joined the monastery of St. Marin in Anaya, Lebanon, choosing the monastic life over worldly pursuits. In a profound act of devotion, he took the name Charbel, honoring a martyr from the second century. By 1853, he had professed his final vows, and six years later, he was ordained a priest. A life of solitude and service. Inspired by the 5th century Saint Marin, Charbel embraced the life of a hermit in 1875, living in the hermitage of Saint Peter and Saint Paul in Anaya, Mount Lebanon, for the last 23 years of his life. Through his prayer and penance, he hoped to offer a sacrifice for the reconciliation of the whole world to God. He performed manual labor and lived in poverty. He ate one meal a day, which consisted of scraps from the other monks. He chained himself and subjected his body to mortification. He slept with a timber log as a pillow on the ground. He observed strict silence so as to be close to God. One night in 1875, Charbel asked a fellow brother to fill his oil lamp with oil, but the brother, intending to play a joke, filled it with water instead. To the brother's amazement, when Charbel lit the lamp, it burned brightly. The astonished brother reported this to the superior, who, along with the brother, went to Charbel's room and witnessed him working by the light of a lamp filled with water. Death and Legacy Charbel's earthly journey concluded on Christmas Eve, as the late afternoon sun cast its gentle light. He died on Christmas Eve in 1898 following a stroke. After he was buried, a great light started emanating from the grave. The mysterious light could be seen from a great distance and continued for 45 days after his death. When superiors and other monks of the order opened his grave, they found his body incorrupt, flexible, and lifelike. A mixture of blood and water was found emanating from his body. His blood-soaked clothes were changed and small pieces were distributed as relics. Thereupon, several miracles were reported of the healing of sickness through these relics. Pilgrims began flocking to the shrines and innumerable miracles were reported. The monastery began maintaining a record of these miracles in 1950. Two of the cures were acknowledged by Pope Paul VI for his beatification. First was Senior Maria Abel, who suffered for 14 years from gastric ulcer, which neither surgery nor medication could cure or relieve. After fervent prayers at the tomb of St. Charbel, she was instantly cured. The other was to Alessandro Obide, who was blinded when the retina of his eye was torn by the branch of a tree. His sight was restored at the tomb of St. Charbel. But the most famous miracle was to a 50-year-old seamstress, Ms. Mounta Hadahar, who was born with a disfigured hunchback that doctors could not cure. She was completely healed during her visit to the tomb. Her doctor confirmed the healing and added that she had other hidden deformities that were also healed, making her a woman with a normal proportionate body. Thousands of miracles have been reported at the shrine as well as from people who took the relics and placed them on their bodies for healing. The body of Saint Charbel remained perfectly preserved for many more years. In 1965, by the time he was beatified by Pope Paul VI, the body was reduced to bones. He was canonized on October 9, 1977 by Pope Paul VI. His feast is celebrated on July 24. Saint Charbel Makhlouf's life, though spent largely in solitude, continues to inspire and impact countless souls, reminding us of the profound reach of a devout and humble heart.
His feast day is celebrated on July 24th every year, and he is credited with numerous miracles, further attesting to his enduring spiritual legacy 